who am I? I'm a candy salesman. And the business that we, um, our business here was established in 1927 by my grandfather, which would make it a third generation of business. Um, we've been in the same location since, our, um, since we were founded, give or take. At one point we were across the street and then we came over here and then we expanded. We're the oldest uh, independently, privately owned wholesale candy company in North America. We're a, um, we have a wholesale company. It's called McKeesport Candy, and they sell to uh, supermarkets and various places. And then we also have CandyFavorites.com, which is a separate company. But CandyFavorites.com operates out of here and uh, purchases products from McKeesport Candy Company, and is probably the um, in the top three largest online candy stores in the world. And it's also probably the most publicized online candy company of any candy company. I think McKeesport is a very interesting anomaly in many respects. As the mills closed, so did the uh, stores. And as the stores closed, the population aged, the younger people left. And McKeesport um, has, has been working diligently to hold its own, but it's akin to treading water. So the businesses that have survived have survived for two reasons. One, they're landlocked, meaning that the business is here, the property is paid for, the cost of operations are inexpensive. or in the case of our business, which has benefited from the former, but we've also been extremely uh, adaptable. In many respects, you know, our business model uh, changes daily. Like sometimes I'll come into work and I'll be like, what's today's business model? But our business has been able to, because we're a small privately owned business, we've been able to make changes um, really on a dime, as the expression goes. I've always looked at one of the reasons for the success of, of our business is that we're a family business, not because it's a family business that my family started, but because the people that work here, I like to think of us as one big dysfunctional family. Um, with that said, you know, if you look at McKeesport, uh, if you look at Fifth Avenue, where we are now, if we walked out of this building and we made a right, you would, hit, you would uh, get to lick paper. If you walked another step, you'd get to Tube City Novelty. If you went another step, you'd get to Minerva Bakery. So on this, Block, uh, I'm sorry, in this yeah, block alone, there's four companies that are at least second generation, if not third generation. And I would say that you'd, you'd have to search high and low to find a, um, uh, a density of uh, multi-generational businesses as we have here. If you look at businesses in today's day and age, there's two different things. It's, it's, it's no different than it's ever been. You know, there's a, it's, a, uh, there's a, it's a evolution. You either evolve or you die. And you know, there's people that have businesses and they, their model has changed and they're resistant to change and they, they become angry and they fight that change. Well, that's great, but it's a waste of energy. As opposed to businesses in McKeesport that have survived based on um, um, surviving for the sake of surviving. They own the property. They watch their uh, business dwindle, their profits dwindle. We're not that type of business. We're still a very cutting edge business in a, uh, in a warehouse that we're um, bulging at the seams.